Hello, audience, and welcome back to Coffee Talk. It is Tuesday, September 29th, 2020. Who vows to stop major hospitals selling Fury sedative illegally? Coachella 2020, 10 reasons why you should go. And sports tournament in space might be only a few decades away. That sounds fun. It's, it's the guy. Hold on. Who do we got on, on uh, Facebook? We're closer to Gala? Oh. And hide. Uh, the fact that I've been blood sober for 10 years now. Uh, currently a model, past stock trader, entrepreneur, venture capitalist. What a background. Let's read Freya's paper. A Stray Boy and a Lonely Cat by Freya Fatima. Midnight. The boy arrives at his home. The ticking sound of the cooling engine fills the dark. Empty garage, followed by the scrape of the rusty metal door being forcefully closed. He leaves the garage, and there she is, waiting for him to come back home. She always waits in the same spot around the same time. The boy always smiles when he sees her. Meow. The cat calls the boy. Demanding the... Oh, sorry. I read that wrong. The cat calls the boy. Demanding the treatment she always received from him every night in the same spot around the same time. I totally messed that paragraph up. He laughs quietly as he walks up to join her. You've been waiting here for me, haven't you? Here, come here, says the boy to the cat while he pets her fur. The cat purrs loudly and refuses to stand still. She dances around him, stands up tall on two feet, Rubs her head against his shins and shares her affection while enjoying their nightly routine. Till so suddenly the boy decides that their interaction is enough for today. He stands up, walks away from her, and closes his door. The cat understands that their time for the day is up. They both return to their own lives. The boy did not give the cat something to eat, and the cat did not sleep next to him to help him relax. For she was not his, and he was not hers. That's pretty deep, bro. That's pretty deep. Okay. <clears throat> he never really changed. I know. But it was surprisingly nice. Catching up with people from back then. Thank you for forcing me to do it. Don't mention it. Hey, Cry Optic. I'd like to order again. The usual. Back to the experiment. Oh, yeah. We have to figure out his, uh, his thing. You know what? Try adding milk to the ingredients you already have. All right. You know what to do. I don't know what to do. What was it? Wait. It was... It was tea and... It was tea and ginger, right? Ginger was the other thing? I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh my god. Oh! Galahad, that's it. Let's go. Try this. Thank you. Just what I needed. Hooray! What about you, Mr. Hyde? Would you like to order anything else? I'm good for now. Couldn't help overhearing you both. It sounds like you two go way back. We do, I guess. He was my bodyguard. Oh? Didn't you meet here? Yeah, when this was a bar. What happened exactly? He was getting his ass kicked by a buckle of, buckle of, buckle of dwarves? A couple of dwarves. Ugh, those two bastards. It wasn't a pretty sight, so I intervened. Aren't vampires supposed to be, you know, tough? Just because I'm a vampire doesn't mean I know kung fu. Besides, I had a couple of drinks. I couldn't take... I could have taken them both if I was sober. A couple? Really? You were trash tied. You told them I was your bodyguard. Wait, were you not his bodyguard? Not at the time. We didn't even know each other. But because of that whole fiasco, we both got kicked out. And then this wasted vampire stuck to me. Like, well, you know, to a blanket. What does that mean? Obviously, he was too drunk to drive, so I hailed the cab. Turns out he was also too drunk to tell the driver where he lived. And I was stuck with him until morning. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks for not leaving me on the street, Gala. Those dwarves could have killed me. Who were they? 
not going to confirm or deny anything, but possible they may have had ties to the mafia. And I might have had, I might have lost some of their money on the stock market. A lot of their money. Yikes, the stock market? They wanted me to launder their dirty money. So I decided to screw them over instead. Yeah, I overheard what they were talking about before the fight started. I knew Hyde was innocent, and that's why I helped him. He might be an annoying asshole, but he's not a thief. What a stroke of luck. The universe sending me a guardian angel in my time of need. So the next morning, I offered him a job as my bodyguard for real. What is it? After all the trouble you caused me the night before. Hey, I took you to breakfast. Don't tell me that counted for nothing. I have to say, it wasn't my proudest moment. I was broke. Breakfast was an offer I couldn't refuse. It was the late 60s, mind you. It wasn't easy finding a job. Especially for people like me. Werewolves? War veterans. What? You were in war? Oh, I see. Bro, this guy's like Wolverine. Literally. So, how did you go from working as a bodyguard to working in the hospital gala? Well, when he was working with me, I noticed. I'd... I'd prefer it if we skipped that part. Sorry, but I don't want to go into any details about it. It's alright. Forgive me for asking. I don't mind telling you the quick and dirty version. Long story short, he helped me with something. Let's just say, something from my past. Thanks to that help, I found a new purpose in life. Helping other people live. Of course, it's not easy for a veteran werewolf to become a nurse or doctor. That's why I chose hospital admin instead. So you could say I owe this guy my life. Thanks to his stubborn persistence in helping me when I needed it. Thank you for sharing your story with me. I didn't expect such a tale from you. I know. Anyway, Cryoptic, I'd like to order something now. What would you like? You make a tea-based drink that's warm and cool at the same time. Uh, I could try. Tea. Milk gives warm and cool. You give warm and sweet. You give just sweet. Cool and bitter. You give lots of cool, but also bitter and sweet. And you give lots of warm, but also lots of bitter. What's that? This one. And then you just had one more cool. One warm. None. One cool. Ooh. Oh my gosh. You have three cool, but no more bitter? That's weird. You give two more warm, but one bitter. Do they have to be equal? The, war the warm and the cool? I don't know. This should be fine, I guess. Maybe. What is it? Milk mint tea. That sounds gross. I'm being completely honest. Here's your order. Exactly what I wanted. Is it? By the way, it feels like this place is missing something today. <gasps> where's... Where's Freya? What's she doing? Is that her? Freya? Speak of the devil. Let's go. Hi, Freya. Hello, good people. In one vampire. <laughs> it's good to see you too. Freya. By the way, we were just talking about you. Oh, really? What about me? I was just surprised that you weren't here. Is that how you pick up girls young enough to be your granddaughter? That won't work on me. Eh. Yo. I have no interest in flirting with you. I've got high standards, you know. You... You look so tired, Freya. Our day of work? Uh, how could you tell? Call it werewolf senses. Okay, right. I showed Cryoptic my draft, and I actually got some good feedback. That's good to hear. Glad I could... <laughs> I thought it was me. Glad I could help. So I spent the whole day rewriting stuff. And I also did some stories for the paper. Overall, it was a good day. That's good to hear. Please, don't forget to take a break. It's easy to get carried away by work when you're on a roll. Will do, sir. And speaking of hospitals, how's your hospital admining life going? That's not even a word, Freya. Actually, I'm not even sure what you even do there. 
Hmm. Pretty boring to talk about. Mostly, I handle operational stuff happening in the hospital. Things like how much a specialist costs and how much it affects our income. I also deal with patients and their families. If they require intensive care, such as operations, I go through what we do and how much it would cost them. Kind of like biz dev for people's lives, then? You could say that. Damn, that sounds complicated and hard. Uh, that's what she said. That's why I'm suited for my job. Someone who gets very emotionally attached to patients would find this job pretty tough. Whereas heartless people like my friend here only see it from a business perspective. Good point. Why do people rarely talk about your kind of job? I guess most people don't really notice we exist or think about the necessity of it. Exactly, it's an interesting job, yet no one talks about it. Maybe because most admins are just like me. We rarely talk about work outside the hospital. Why? For me, I just don't find any reason to. It's the patient's, per patient's personal lives, anyway. Such professionalism and loyalty. You should keep hold of that mindset, especially in front of this lady here. What? You... He needs to be a bit less loyal, though. Hide. You've been doing this job for a while, right? Almost 50 years now. Whoa! I did not know that. Wait. 50 years in the same position? Uh-huh. Holy... Ask for a promotion, man. They keep offering me new positions. Mostly managerial. Take it! Not interested. Why? It's not something I want. Besides, as I've told you before, I fit perfectly in this position. Oh, that's also what she said. But the salary must be better if you take the promotion, right? Of course. But what I get at the moment is more than enough for me right now. And I still get raises while I'm doing this job. I really can't figure you out. That's gala for you. Uh, anyway, my shift's starting soon. It was nice catching up with the both of you. Are you going to stay, Hyde? Yeah, I'm still enjoying the vibes here. What a G. I'll see you in a few weeks, I guess. Yep. Safe trip. See you around, Cryoptic. And you, Freya. See you. Take care on your way. Hold on, I'm gonna fix my mic. There we go. So if he gets... Let's just jokingly say that he gets, like, a dollar promotion every year he works there. That means he's making over 50. An hour. Which is well over more than enough. You know... It's kind of hard to believe. I mean, I doubt he gets a dollar every every year, though, for a raise. But you never know. Some some job, especially like a hospital worker, probably good. You know, it's kind of hard to believe. Someone like Gala could be your best friend. We were just talking about that before you arrived. Oh, really? Man, I missed an interesting story. So how did you guys meet? Seriously? I have to retell the story? Yes. Come on, you're not going anywhere, right? Ah, uh, all right then. We met in this place back when it was a bar. Thank you for skipping. Whoa! I never knew Gally used to be in the army. Neither did I. I mean, he's got the build to be on the front line. Still though, why did he make the jump from, how should I say this, a very physical job to medic? Well, he's not comfortable talking about it right now. But you know why, right? Are you trying to squeeze the story from me? Obviously. He doesn't want to talk about it. That's him, not you. Seriously, Freya. Come on. Don't do it, Hyde. I won't get into details, but... Going to war... Messes with your head. Oh. See why Gala doesn't want to talk about it, huh? I don't get it, but it, it must be difficult, especially back then. The only thing he was confident in was his strength. So he only did work that relied on his muscle. That wouldn't help him get over his trauma, though, right? Of course not. But it was the only thing he could do. Or at least, it's the only thing he thought he could do. But you hired him for his muscle? Hey, I didn't know all about that at the time. Besides, he's good at being a bodyguard. And we weren't that close yet. So, no personal feelings. I needed his strength, but then I got to be interested in him. Interested? Interested, Hyde. I think he's a cool person. That's all. And after a few months, I noticed his problem. I suggested he talk about it with someone, seek help, but she refused. 
No surprises there. But I kind of pushed him to do it. Ow. Oh, it's complicated. Eventually, he did go to get professional help. Of course, I have no idea what happened in his therapy sessions. But in the end, he found a new purpose in his life. He quit working for me. Not so long after that, he started working at the hospital. And he's been work... Uh oh Spaceman! Oh, what was my voice for Spaceman? Oh, I re oh, okay. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me take a sip of water. This game destroys my throat. It's Hyde's voice. Hyde's voice is so rough. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Ooh, boy. Good evening. Nice to see you again. We were also glad to see you, barista. By the way, I didn't catch your name the last time you visited. Do you have a name? Name? We sure have. On Earth, people call us Neil. Oh, that's such a funny name for a spaceman. Neil. Yes. Neil. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Due to the nature of our communication, we do not really need trivial things like names to interact. But from what we have learned here, it seems like the name Neil has a lot of association associations with Earthling efforts in intergalactic exploration. Oh, like Neil Armstrong. Ah, I get what you mean. I believe we did not meet the last time we were here. I saw you from afar when you left the coffee shop a few days ago. So, hello, my name is Freya. You could say I'm a regular here. And you, sir? Hyde. Mr. Hyde. Neil. Oh my god, he's literally just space. Friends only, friends only, close friends. I don't know. We're not friends yet, Neil. I thought we were besties. I give you dating advice. You come here often? Good pickup line, Neil. Someone who doesn't live in Seattle, yeah. Oh, you are not from around here. Neither are we. Where do you come from? Far away. By far away, you mean a few thousand miles. A few, th a few thousands miles? Or more? More. Much more. More to the point that your strange calculation system means nothing. That sounds far away indeed. So a different universe? Just use light years, bro. What are you doing here in Seattle? You do all your kind just like this? Oh, this? We choose this appearance based on an image we saw when we first arrived. Image? Ah. The Aramie Jandrew album cover. I Fucking... I thought he was gonna be Aramie. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. That's him. Dang. That was weird. No wonder you look familiar. As for what we are doing, this place is really the perfect spot to practice our communication skills with Earthlings. But before that, please let us order something from the barista. What do you want to drink tonight? The usual. That is how you say it, yes? Yes, so... Anything? Yes, we won't be able to taste the difference anyways. You really can't taste anything? Yes. What if I can brew a drink that can make you feel something? Interesting premise. But we doubt you will be able to do that. Challenge accepted. Please surprise us. A drink to make a feel anything. Hmm. Interesting thought. Three warm and four bitter. Two warm and four bitter. Four warm, two cool, and three bitter. Cool, sweet, and bitter. So they all have four bitter besides the one. You just have warm, cool, and sweet. But I feel like bitter is the way to go. So we're gonna go for go for coffee. Can we, ooh, double coffee. How can we max out the bitter and warm? I don't think there's a way. I think the closest would be ginger. I don't know. I'm just, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters anyway. But he has a special drink too now, which is cool. So let's try that. Oh! A Jahi 2 brick. 
think. I don't know how to pronounce that, but but it's cool. A cup of anything is ready for you. Hold on, let, let's check this out. Let's learn about some coffee, bro. Coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Ginger presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup. Originally from Indonesia. Ah. Yeah, I definitely probably did not pronounce that right then. There's another one with a, a cool name. Not like Galahad. What was it? Couldn't pronounce it. I don't remember. Anyway, here you go. Thank you. What the? Interesting. What are you doing? Drinking. That's how they drink. Whoa, boy. You're one interesting person. Thank you. That was a compliment, yes? Normally, yeah. But you can be... So but you can't be so sure with Freya. That definitely was the highest form of compliment. What are you, Neil? Us? We are travelers. Doing our job in the space you call Milky Way. What kind of job? We are tasked with the mission to spread our seeds. <laughs> you really are here to find a date? All the way from a galaxy far, far away? Can she legally say that? Wow. It turns out pervs exist everywhere in the universe. What? <laughs> Feeling attacked, old man? Not really. You have a valid point. We do not understand. But we are glad if we can make you laugh. Oh, the pleasure was mine. Hooray, he's making friends. If I may ask, why do you have to breed with us? Hmm. We are sorry, but that is classified information. Oh, man. Well, how's the mission going so far? We cannot say it's going well. I'm not surprised. With how quirky and unique you are, how many women can handle that? Could you handle them, though? Me? I don't know. What do you think? You're a pretty adventurous girl. I wouldn't be surprised if you decided to go on a date. Or maybe go further. If it got you a good story. Oh my god, hide your voice kills me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, you're not offended by that. Not in the slightest. You're wrong though. I could go on a date with them. But I don't like to sleep around. Really? Be honest, I didn't expect that. Dude, Hyde is just straight calling Freya a hoe. Yeah, I get that a lot. People often mistake me for someone who gets around a lot. I never thought that once about Freya. Excuse me, miss. From what we gather, does it mean that you are willing to breed with us in exchange for our stories? Wow, no wonder your mission isn't going well. I don't mind going out with you for a drink or dinner in exchange for stories, but I'll only sleep with someone I'm serious about. But our mission is serious. It's not that... You either have to be my boyfriend or husband, or if you want to... S oh. Uh, uh, rewind that. Refresh. Everybody just look at what the words say. In my brain, read the words. Okay, now, now speak the words that are there. You either have to be my boyfriend or husband if you want to sleep with me. There we go. We have heard of those terms before. Let us check them once again. This is... this is very strange. According to what we've found, many Earthlings mate with one person exclusively for their entire lives. Yeah, that's called commitment. Such a strange concept. And why, with such rules, do you still face overpopulation problems? Because <laughs> people can't keep it in their pants, Neil. Hmm, now that you mention it, we don't have enough control of ourselves. Facts. And those in charge also don't have enough control of us. Not to mention some races live for a very, very long time. So even though there are rules about having kids, and it can be strictly enforced, a lot of people still break them. We know Earthlings boast about the concept of free will, but we thought our we thought your kind also loved the concept of restraint and taking care of the planet. At least that was what we gathered from our inform from your information network. Theoretically, that should be the case. But Earthlings are stupid. That's the easiest way to put it. We learned so much today. But we have another question for Miss Freya. Ask away. How can we become your husband? Goddamn. Ha ha ha. 
First of all, I would suggest going step by step. Most of the time you start by dating. Boyfriends or girlfriends, you know? Before you talk about marriage. Oh, okay. So, how can we become your boyfriend? You could start by asking her whether she's actually single. Understood. So, Miss Freya, are you single? Yes, I am single. Do you want to be, do you want with the with the fingers touching do you want to be our girlfriend now the path of starting to date varies between people but usually it takes some time before you want to commit yourself to someone wow the breeding process on earth is surely extremely complicated it can be easy if you're a smooth talker smooth talker Someone good at communicating with others. That would be really challenging for us. Even after all that, making kids is still in a totally different league. Most women prefer it if their male partners wear condoms. Condoms? It's something you wear to prevent pregnancy. Why would you do the mating ritual if you do not want to have offspring? That's what I'm saying, Neil. Pleasure. All this information is too much to process in one evening. So we talked about using condoms. <laughs> I don't know why I stuttered on that. But how do you, how do your kind have sex? Like, seeing how you drink, condom might be something you can't use at all. Hmm, that's true. How do you do it? We are pretty flexible with that. Oh, Neil, jeez. But we cannot tell you the details unless we agree to do the mating ritual. I don't want to imagine how it's done. Oh, you do not need to worry. We will not hurt anyone physically or mentally. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Especially the mental part. We did our research and we tried to... We tried it on the testing object we made. It was proven. The mental capacity of Earthlings is far more complicated than anything else on Earth, sir. Oh, we did not know that. Being born on Earth sounds very difficult. It is. I have to agree with that. Anyway, thank you so much for the information you have given us tonight. It means a lot for our mission. We have to report our findings to the base. How you proceed with your mission with this newfound information? We are not sure yet. It is yet to be discussed after all. It was really nice talking with all of you. You're welcome. We are off now. Bye. Take care anyway, sir. Oh my god. Talk about sex with an alien or inter interdimensional being or something that was crazy that was really something indeed oh, fuck. I, I had to do the right ways i don't mean to you said the first time they came here was for a date right yeah but their date never came and then they mistook miss myrtle for their date game developer orc wow i dread to think think how that went it was pretty awkward. It was very awkward. A lot of this game can get pretty awkward sometimes, I think. You can't be angry at such a... Oh my god, that's a hard word. <laughs> Am I dumb? Do I... Am I... <sighs> Naivety? Naivety? I know what it means, and I've heard it be said before, but I just don't know how to say it. But you can't be angry at such... <laughs> Naivety. I guess so. By the way, was that young woman... Has that young woman been back since I spoke with her last time? You mean Miss Lua? Yeah, her. Oh, showing some... Sorry. Oh, showing some concern now, are you? Just curious. No, I haven't see seen her since then. But her boyfriend did come a few days ago. And Frey was being pretty nosy. The point that Mr. Gala joined the conversation. My, my. You really have a knack for starting trouble. Sadly, I have to agree with that. It's not easy to make Gala join a random conversation. Unless it really piques his interest. Or it annoys him. I don't know how to react to that. Well, I need to catch a flight to Seoul tomorrow. Seoul like in Japan? So, I'm off for the day. Oh, you're leaving Seattle so soon? It's only for a week or so. We'll be back here sooner than you know. Oh well, it'll be a peaceful week then. Hey. Anyway, I need to get going as well. 
Why am I, why am I yawning? It's like 7 o'clock, it's like 8 o'clock at night. <sighs> Thank you for letting me stay without ordering anything. Hmm, I didn't even notice that. You really don't care about business. She didn't order anything, but she did attract people to the coffee shop. Eh, that's one way to put it. Anyway, Freya, do you want to share a cab? Thanks, but I'm riding my bike. All right, then. See you around. Take care on your way, folks. Oak. I think that... Uh... I don't know. Is this like a people like other people game? Because I feel like it is. It's raining. I love the rain. Has it always been raining? <laughs> or maybe because I turned the volume up. I could just hear it better in my ears now. I can't tell if this game is like a kind of romantic like people are going to become interested in it there's lots of talk of dating and like relationship advice but i don't know if anybody's actually going to get together but i think that hiding gala well i don't know they're like best friends so i guess that's different there's something there and there is something there with hide and uh freya at the end there I don't think I didn't catch up on that. Anyway, I guess we'll find out in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment down below if you want to see more. Also comment down below if you want me to play other games. I know there's a sequel to this game that's out and it's on my list of stuff to play. But if you want it sooner than I'm planning on recording it, then let me know down below. And no problem changing around my schedule so you guys get to see the sequel as quickly as possible. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when the next episode comes out. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.